Do not summon for the wrong character in Weathering Waves, guys, because in today's video, we will be talking about the best standard 5 stars to re-roll for on your account when playing and starting Weathering Waves. Re-roll with quotation marks. Surely they won't let you choose the standard 5 star, right? They would never. Anyways, guys, we'll be talking about every single standard 5 star today, going over what they do, how good they are, how bad they are, and then I'll be giving you guys a priority list for who you want to be pulling on this banner. But before we hop into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we will be doing a giveaway for Weathering Waves for all of the subscribers off this video. More information on that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and start with Mr. Lin Yang first. Don't come at me in the comment section, guys. I know I'm bad at names. It's hard at pronouncing them. But we're gonna be talking about Mr. Lin Yang, the, the tiger boy. Roar! That was cringy, probably. I'm so sorry for that. Anyways, he is a glacial boxer unit. Uh, when I say boxer, I mean he just fights with the gauntlet. He uses the gauntlet weapon type, but he, he be boxing, you know? But overall, what he does is aerial combat. But how you enter the actual flying state that he does, the little the little tiger state that he does, is by actually activating his circuit. How do you activate that? You just hold down the basic attack. He turns into a flying dragon. He hits things in the air, and that's very cool. And his combat is pretty hard to control. That's so I'm going to be going over some cons really quickly for him. First of all, guys, his combat, like I said, is really hard to control in the air. So I would say he's for more of an advanced level player. On top of this, actually getting your gauge up high enough to reach this, you have to do a lot of basic attacks and a lot of mixing in of like basic attacks, heal attacks, heavy attacks, just doing a lot of mixing and matching of different abilities and stuff like that to get this up really fast and the damage at that is quite lackluster before you actually hit this state. Now when you actually get into this, st this state here he actually does pretty decent amount of damage but before that he's really not hitting that much damage. Keep in mind guys this is all off of closed beta test too so he could change. He could get a buff, he could get a nerf. I see him probably getting a buff because he is so hard to control in the air but this is the main caveat with him right now. Sometimes he can't hit enemies that are on the ground or like really low to the ground enemies or smaller enemies I should say so that is one thing to definitely look at when you're actually looking at his kit but Glacio does come in clutch because you do have the chance to actually freeze the enemy which means more time to do damage because they're not attacking you and just more openings overall and stuff like that and to finally cap his whole kit off his intro and outro skills are just okay they don't really provide much at all I mean they're like they're just okay guys okay so putting him on the priority list guys he's gonna go at number one for right now as we get more characters we will be moving characters around on this priority list but since he's the first character he's going at number one now hopping into number two on this list mr jin yin jin yan I tried my best. So guys, she is going to be a wind, also a boxer. She uses gauntlets as well, and she's boxing using sheep and doing stuff like that, okay? Her whole kit revolves around basically getting chi, right? And honestly, her damage is pretty nice. Like, it's pretty okay damage for a 5-star in this game. Not the best damage you can get from a 5-star, but it's also not the worst either. I would say she's pretty middle of the field, probably plays pretty decently as a sub DPS. The main issue with her is that her chi when you're trying to activate the max state does take a, a little while to actually activate it. Keep in mind guys when she's in this state or when you're charging her chi up trying to get the max blast it does take a couple seconds to get there. She is resistant to being interrupted but resistance doesn't mean she is impervious to getting interrupted so this is why I have her lower on my list here. This is why I'm talking about her right now because of this state being so kind of weird to actually play with. On top of this I've heard a few rumors rumors going around that her damage might be getting nerfed even more so that's why I kind of have her here on the list but the basic breakdown of her kit is she uses key right but you want to make sure she's using key at the highest capacity so she has different levels of key let's say four levels of key right at level one she gets a rank one shield she does some damage at level two she gets a rank two shield does some more damage level three she does gets a rank three shield does even more damage at level four she does a rank four shield does the most damage and then provides herself with some healing as well so that can come in really clutch so she kind of acts like a, a self-sustain for herself but that last key strike it actually takes time to charge up it takes you a long time to actually charge that up so by the time you're charging it normally enemies coming at you especially if the enemy hits you with a special skill good luck getting that one off bucko I, I just don't think that's really gonna happen for you if I'm being quite honest with you and like I said before her damage output is pretty okay but if she gets a nerf then the damage is gonna go down her intro and outro skill is also another caveat with her kit mainly her outro skill because her outro skill buffs ultimate damage and most characters in this game don't do per se ultimate damage like take our first limited five star in the game 
in Lin Yan, for example, right? His ultimate damage, it doesn't count as ultimate damage. It counts as heavy attack damage. If you were to use him and her on the same team together, he wouldn't be getting that buff at all. So it doesn't really make sense to run her on a, as a sub DPS on that team. Even though typings really don't matter in this game, I think it would have been better if they would give her maybe a, an elemental damage burst versus, versus like an ultimate damage burst. Because like I said, most characters really don't use the ultimate damage multiplier for their ultimate. Some do, of course, but I think there's just better options to run with those characters. Though I can see maybe she gets a buff to the amount of time she takes to charge it up. So if they buff that and maybe reduce the time, that can make her a little bit better. But if we were to bring up the priority chart again, I would probably put her above Lin Young here. Uh, put move Lin Young down one. We'll talk more about this later, guys. Trust me, I do have some more thoughts on this. But with her out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about our third standard banner unit, which is Miss Encore. She summons little puppets in and she is really cool. Now, the reason why I like Encore is because she, first of all, is a fusion type unit, which is a hey, cool pog champion but but more so with this she is actually pretty easy to build or from closed beta 2 she was pretty easy to build so she's pretty low investment for the actual amount of damage you're getting from her so that means you don't have to really put much into her to get a decent amount of damage out. Really the problem with her is, for me anyways, is I, I think she's kind of boring to play. Like overall she's just okay because she's like a range type character. So to me it's like a kind of like a Klee situation. I never really like playing Klee and Genshin. And that's how kind of she she looks to me, like a, like a Klee type of situation. So me personally, I don't really like it too much. I love her character design and everything like that. And I think that's cool. But overall gameplay for me is just not there. I think her damage is gonna be okay I don't, but that's kind of okay for the amount of like it actually takes to build her up right so she has a really low requirement for the build that means the higher investment you put into her theoretically you should get higher gains out of that as well having a lower investment character is pretty good especially if you're a free to play light spender player that doesn't want to spend much time investment into the game this could be a good option for you to choose putting her in the priority chart let's go ahead and throw her up at yeah number 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 here you see how the trend's going guys we're just moving them down as we go but trust me we're gonna talk more about that later. Number two, guys, Cal Charo, our lightning daddy, okay? Now, I was very hard pressed to not move him up higher on this list here or as far as priority goes. He does a very, very good amount of damage. On top of this, he is kind of like a pretty straightforward character, if I do say. He's like an Oonga Boonga character, okay? These next two characters are very Oonga Boonga, and that's why I think they are going to be so good, especially if you're coming from games like Genshin. Uh, Genshin's combat is kind of Oonga Boonga. Uh, there's not really much complexity to the kit. Same thing with Cal Charo here as well there's not really much complexity to his kit the real reason he's here is because he's an electro type unit and we all know the next uh, featured unit miss yinlin coming out she's also an electro unit and she might help him out do a lot more damage and then uh, vice versa i think they would pair very well together because i'm gonna be honest with you guys lightning is probably going to be the best element in the game even though element really doesn't matter too too much his investment is definitely more than someone like encore is but i think if you put this medium level of investment into him i think he'll shine a lot more or have a lot higher return in damage than someone like Encore would actually have. And his big thing is when he pops his ult because he goes into a death blade gear state which is absolutely amazing because with this state you enhance his damage by an absolute shit ton. You kind of go into it, you use a couple charge attacks, a couple heavy attacks if you will. The really important thing here, he's actually pretty efficient in getting concerto energy back and resonant energy back for himself as well so it makes him play a bit better with swapping in and out because concerto energy is your intro outro skills which gives you an absolute shit ton of damage. On top of this guys is giving him resonance energy back to actually go back to this death blade state as well so you're just able to keep proccing off more and more and more damage and running him with someone like a yinlin which can provide some off-field damage i'm talking about yinlin by the way providing off-field damage so you're getting damage from her on top of just going in with him cleaving boom 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 boom, boom doo, 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 you know like that but that's the best impression i can do you can you see gameplay in the background okay I, I don't know what i'm trying to explain it to you i'm bad at explaining stuff but he is going to be an absolute goaded pick on the priority list he is going up there above Miss Encore. Now let's go ahead and talk about the character that everyone tells you to pull for. The best character you could say for this whole thing here, the whole shebang here. Miss Verena, the little uh, plant girl which summons carrots in and gardens in and heals you and gives you buffs and 
has some off-field damage as well, and just overall fully supports your team. Now, guys, she is the best, right? She is she is the de facto best. You can run her on any team. She's going to work out. She heals your team, first of all. She gives buffs for your team, which is really good. She is really straightforward to play. She is probably the most straightforward character in the game to play. She is probably the most brain-dead character in the game to play. And that's why I'm going to advocate that you do not pull for her, because I think you are going to get tired of it really, really fast. Okay, guys? Now, I give her flowers, of course, right? She is really, really good. Like I said, guys on the priority list she goes number one if you want to go hardcore sweaty meta meta gamer right but i think if you want to have a fun experience in the game let's pull up this priority list here again i think uh we move mr linyan up to number one that's who i'm getting gamers i'm getting mr linyan of course he looks like so like it's such a fun character to play even if he's buggy even if he doesn't have good damage i am definitely pulling for mr linyan up here because i just want to be scuffed you know imagine how good of a feeling it is getting good with him right i would obviously move down the rest of the characters here probably i would honestly move verena down to the bottom me personally guys i'm not getting verena i think if you want to have like a more casual experience with the game or i guess like have a more meta experience and get the meta option then verena is definitely the option for you but if you want to have fun with the game guys get the character who you want right calcharo if you like calcharo encore if you like encore get the character you like all these characters should be able to beat the game regardless of meta stats anything like that they should all be able to get you to the game as long as you're building them proficiently and efficiently which is why you should be subscribing to this channel because i will be having build guides out on some of these characters i'll be having build guides out on some of the four stars and now we're going to talk about that giveaway guys now the giveaway all you need to do for that is hit that subscribe button on this channel right now and in the comment section down below we put woo wah better than genshin okay so anyone that subscribes to the channel puts woo wah better is better than genshin in the comment section down below w u w a is better than genshin you will be entered in for a chance to win the Woo Wah giveaway, brother. Yes, sir. Uh, I should probably also mention uh, you will need a Discord so I can actually DM you. Uh, that's the only way I'll be able to actually get in contact with you. So if you don't want to join the Discord, link's in the description down below, by the way. You can definitely just have a Discord account. So if I need to message you on Discord, you're there for that. So, guys... That giveaway will probably be done in a couple days from now. I will let you know in a community post, which you'll see if you're subscribed. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. What do you guys think? Who are you guys pulling for? What are you guys playing with? You guys excited for Weathering Waves? What's the character you're most excited for and the character that you're getting off a of standard 5-star? If they were to give us a selection, that is. Anyways, guys, see you guys later. I'm out of here. Bye.